Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain the procedure to obtain the commercial pilot license. A CPL is a type of pilot license that permits the holder to act as a pilot of an aircraft and be paid for his or her work. If you have watched my other video on how to obtain the private pilot license, you may have known that you cannot get paid with that particular license. But by obtaining a commercial pilot license, you can get paid for your work. Being a commercial pilot comes also with a lot of responsibility, complex decision making and the ability to understand and cope with special situations. CPL training program is designed for students with little to no flying experience and that want to pursue a career in aviation according to International Civil Aviation Organization regulations. So the initial step to obtain this license is to enroll with the flying school. Do not forget to check out my video approved flying schools in Sri Lanka after watching this video. Now let us see the entry requirements for the course. Age should not be less than 18 years. The educational qualification is that you have to have GCE O level or equivalent qualifications with 6 credits including credits in mathematics, science and English. And the final selection will be based on a medical examination approved by the Civil Aviation Authority and an aptitude test conducted by the Academy. Components of a CPL course and probable duration. This consists of two modules. Module 1 includes theoretical training which goes on for 7 months. All CPL candidates will follow ATPL Frozen as Module 1. For those who doesn't know what is ATPL, ATPL stands for Airline Transport Pilot License. So, a frozen airline transport pilot license is a slang expression referring to the qualifications of a pilot who has passed all 14 ATPL theoretical exams but has not yet met his or her flight requirements. The ATPL would become unfrozen when the flight experience requirements are met. I will explain in detail about the theoretical training. Module 2 includes flying training. This I will explain at the end of the video under flying experience because it's basically the same contents. This will go on 480 hours within 10 months and then the theory examinations at Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka within a period of 18 months on completion of ATPL frozen course and finally the flying test by Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. Here are the contents of the theoretical training which is taught under Module 1. Air Loop, Aircraft General Knowledge, Airframe and Systems, Electrics, Electronics, Power Plant and Instrumentation. Flight Planning and Performance, Mass and Balance, Performance, Flight Planning and Monitoring, Human Performance Limitations and Meteorology. General navigation, radio navigation, operational procedures, principles of flight, communications theory, and practical communication. Module 2 includes flying training and I will be explaining that at the end of the video because the flying experience and the flying training is exactly the same. So note that for helicopter CPL an extra subject Helicopter aerodynamics is added. Total duration for a full commercial pilot license with instrument rating course module 1 and 2 is approximately 18 months. Allowance shall be given for aircraft breakdown and repair, aerodrome closure and adverse weather conditions. Now let us see the requirements to obtain the license from Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. Age should not be less than 18 years. Medical fitness of class 1. Security clearance. Successful completion of ground training and flying training in approved flying school. 
CPL IR theory examinations or ATPL theory examinations. Here are the medical checkups you have to go through before obtaining the license. Do check the links in the description box below where I have included a PDF issued by the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka where they have explained the medical procedure to obtain the license. These are the other requirements. English language proficiency, level 4 or higher. Flying school recommendation for theory examinations and skills test, successful completion of skill test, and flying experience. These are the flying experience for commercial pilot license which will be taught to you in the module 2 of training. This is the flying experience required for instrument rating. Here are the supportive documents to be submitted. Duly completed personal particulars form, duly completed application for medical examination, duly completed application for theory examination with recommendation letter from approved flying school, duly completed evaluation form for English language proficiency check, logbook certified by flying training organization together with copies indicating total and recent flying experience and also followed by a copy of the national identity card, birth certificate, stamp size to color photographs, course completion certificate from approved flying school, detailed breakdown of flying experience, flying school recommendation letter, instructor report or logbook copies for skill test, Skill Test Report and ATC Observer's Report Now let us see the procedure. As you all know the initial step is to join an approved flying school and follow the approved training program and then once the course is completed submit course completion certificate to sit for knowledge examination then register with the computerized licensing system through www.caa.lk which is the official website of Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka and create the user profile and add the commercial pilot license issuance application form which also you can be downloaded from the description box below and if you need any assistance in creating a new profile or adding the application you can press the help button Then you have to visit the personal licensing section with the original documents and make the relevant payments to commence the process of evaluation of the application. Submit personal particulars form to obtain security clearance and then submit application for medical examination under the Civil Aviation Authority Medical Examiner to obtain Class 1 Medical Certificate. And also appear for theory examinations, ELPC examinations at Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. You should obtain SPL, 
SPL stands for student pilot license. I have a separate video explaining the procedure to obtain this license. You can check it out later. And complete recent flying and handover instructor report or logbook copies if you don't have recent flying experience. And if all other requirements are completed, collect letter for flight test and submit flight test examiner report and ATC observers report. You can check the status of the application anytime through logging into your account through the licensing system. Go through the relevant fees and I have included the application evaluation fee, CPL issuance fee, class 1 medical examination fee, CPL examination fee per subject, English language proficiency check fee, ATPL examination fee per subject, flight examiner's fee, and in addition to above, laboratory evaluation charges shall be paid to the hospital. So we have discussed almost all the details regarding the commercial pilot license. If you have any queries, you can contact the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka. I have included the contact details here. Thanks for watching and do subscribe my channel.